We are back. Another little off the cuff video. So I want to just do a bit of a video and update. Um, I keep these kind of rolling just to give you an update as to what we are doing between shows because I am going to come back better next week and that is going to be two weeks post Dubai Pro. So today is Tuesday the 26th. We are what two days post show now um, and plans are fully fully in place to be better at the amateur mill in Milan. And obviously, as I discussed in yesterday's video, I'm obviously pulled out the PCA shows for various reasons. And the goal is to come back better at the amateur Olympia in Milan. Um, so, a little bit of a run through, obviously. Body weight was very low when we weighed in for Classic, which was like 82 kilo, which was way, way too sucked down for me. Um, and when we looked at it, we lost a lot of fullness. Um, and obviously we scrambled to get as much fullness back as we possibly could for um, the Dubai Pro. And from the weight cap, I think we gained four kilo um, from Friday through to Sunday. Um, so we went up to 84. And then post-show with a little bit of extra food, a little bit of nice food on Sunday night, we went up to 87 kilo on Monday. But the look from Friday to Monday, which was six kilos difference, was dramatically different but in a good way it was so much fuller so much more bubbly um, and it actually brought out more detail through my glutes my hamstrings and it just proved to us what we already knew um, that i was too sucked down but we had no choice we had to make the weight cap it was what it was we did it um, and i don't regret doing it because it got me to a level of condition that i wouldn't have hit otherwise but now we've got that feedback that I have got a lot of room to fill. It's obviously changed the dynamic of what we're going to be doing up until next week. So obviously now we're on Tuesday. Um, this is my second day of clearance. So Monday yesterday was back to baseline low food. Today is back to baseline low food. And then from tomorrow, we're going to be back down to about 85 kilos because I'm 86 today. Um, and then we're going to start pushing more fullness. So this is what I want to talk about, like improving between shows. And don't try this at home because this is a risky one. Um, and it is risky you know, me trying to really push up and gain more forms because the obvious thing that could happen is I actually lose a lot of condition. So this is where I trust Sass's eye so, so much and I cannot thank him for what he's done for me this prep. I've worked together in 2021. I've known him for the last 10 years. He's a close friend as much as a coach. And we work in very much a partnership fashion, like to the point that you know, I'll do my diet, I'll send it over to him for confirmation. Um, he gives me his eye, but I trust his eye more than anyone. He sees things in my physique that I wouldn't even see myself. Um, and he doesn't do things like any other coach. He does things based on body weight, based on visuals. He does things so instinctively. Um, and he's just got like a, a, a weird sixth sense for it. So he's, he's phenomenal in that way. So what I want to kind of run through um, is what is our approach over this next 10 days to bring a better package. So I've got my diet up here um, and obviously food has gone up, well planning to go up from tomorrow, bear in mind if we drop weight today, which I think we will. Um, so obviously food is going up, I'm going to run you through my training day diet, um, obviously PDs are staying the same and cardio is being brought right down, um, removing all cardio in fact and actually just doing um, steps. So I still will be getting up in the morning doing my cardio. It'll be just 30 minutes on an inclined treadmill. I don't class that as cardio anymore when I've been bashing hours upon hours of stairs and bike. Um, it feels quite easy and the heart rate's only gonna be 120 beats per minute. So that's the cardio, it's just 30 minutes daily um, with 10K steps. So very, very manageable, aiming to reduce fatigue as much as we can. And already that's brought my legs very very much back to life so addition to that food wise um we have gone with quite a big bump of food um so bearing in mind up until <laughs> the classic weighing i was doing like 50 grams of carbs on a rest day no direct fats like 300 grams of protein um on a training day it was like three meals of 50 grams which is about 150 grams of carbs um very very little direct fats and again about 300 grams of direct protein so we're now jumping up to about 350, 400 um, carbs and assessing it day to day because my body is on absolute fire right now. Obviously bearing in mind over the weekend, we were carving up with like 800 grams of clean carbs with an additional cheat meal. So we were eating a lot of food to fill out um, because it needed to happen fast. So three to 400 grams of carbs is, is relatively conservative, but we are gonna be pushing more food in. And basically the approach is gonna be assess the body weight daily, assess the look daily and find a spot where 
I basically push fullness as much as I possibly can until the point where we start to see conditions slide and then we go right that is the point where we can't push you past that and that is like peak fullness and then we obviously peak from that point and obviously it's just going to be a balancing act between pushing enough to get that fullness back but not taking the piss <laughs> so yeah, I'm nervous because it is a guessing game and it is a risk I could play it safe I could just run maintenance calories um, hold the fullness I've got bring in you know a package that I was still very very happy with but we want to come and have a bodybuilder look. Last show was definitely like more of a classic physique, suck down look, me in a weight cap. Um, but I want the same level of condition and I know I can hold this condition. Um, but we want a lot more fullness. So yeah, diet wise, um, I'm just gonna run you through the training data. I don't need to run you through the rest of it as well. Um, it is gonna be 10 egg whites in the morning with one whole egg, 100 grams of chicken, so that's some protein. But we're doing 100 grams of oats now and a banana, um, which sounds like absolute heaven. Um, Pre-workout is 200 grams of turkey, um, 100 grams of raw weight rice. So that's like used to be like 60 grams of raw weight. And we're adding two rice cakes with almond butter as well. And we're actually adding in 30 grams of intra-workout carbs now with five IUs of insulin um, to try and shuttle some more fullness and pump, you know, see some more nutrients into the blood and take advantage of that overtraining. Um, we didn't have any intra-workout carbs prior. Post-workout is 60 grams of whey isolate, um, that's the same. The cream of rice, I was only doing 60 grams of cream of rice, that's gone up to 100 grams, and we're doing five IUs of insulin post-workout as well. Um, and that used to be all the carbs of the day, it was just the first three meals of the day. Um, it used to be 65 grams of oats in the morning, that's gone up to 100 plus a banana, um, with no whole legs, so I've got a whole leg there, and then obviously I had 60 grams of rice pre, 60 grams of cream of rice post, but now I've got 100 pre, 100 post and then we've got um, a chicken and veg meal which has now got 60 grams of additional um, raw weight rice and then we've got a turkey um, and avocado meal which has got another 60 grams of additional rice and then we've got 200 grams of salmon before bed which has been swapped out from egg whites so we're getting some additional fats in there as well still very very clean um, but you know just sort of totaling that up what I've got 60 grams of carbs 80 grams of carbs there from breakfast I've got probably say 100 grams of carbs pre-workout, so that's 180, another 25, you know, sort of intra, so say 200, post-workout another 80, so 280, and then I've got 100 grams of rice total over that. Um, so yeah, quick math Joe, about 360 grams of carbs. So yeah, I was about right. Um, so it's a, a good chunk of extra food that, um, you know, over another, you know, double the carb intake I was doing, plus some additional fats as well from whole eggs and salmon. Um, it really, really is gonna, help me drive some more fullness. So I'm very, very excited. And obviously we're bringing down fat burners too. So obviously previously I was running 120 MCG clean. That's just coming down to 40 MCG now. And I was doing 37 and a half T3. That's now just a baseline of 25 MCG of T3 too. Um, so I'm gonna be burning through that glycogen a little bit slow as well. So that's gonna help the fullness retention. So it's gonna be exciting. And like I said, it's a little bit of a risk because reversing up into the show, it is a risk and you know we are going to try and max out fullness as much as we can but make sure we do not lose condition so obviously if it does go pear-shaped and over the next few days we start to see body comps slip quite bad then we're going to have to pull back food um but all being well we can keep on this baseline food for a full week now up until just before the show and then do a couple of days like higher food carb up really fill me out and then we can actually peak me properly because we didn't have a chance to properly peak um, for the previous show for obvious reasons you know we were carb loading straight up until um the morning of the show and even high carbs of the morning too because i was still a little bit flat um but it was still a phenomenal achievement to be fair like what we did um on the, in the space of time we did and obviously i've got sas to, to thank for that um, and we were just so so in tune with each other at every every single meal um so every day now for the next 10 days we're going to be checking in seeing where we're at and pretty much setting a diet on the daily but i think that is going to stay the same for the next few days We'll assess what it's done to my body comp, um, put the pictures together, see where my weight's at. Um, but ideally, you know, I'm, I'm personally looking to take my classic weight from like 82 kilo, push my fullness up to about 88, 89 kilo, so like six, seven kilos of fullness, then bring me back down um, the day before the show in terms of drying out, diuretic, reducing water, sodium, that kind of thing. Um, so I think we'll have a net gain of five to six kilos of, of lean fullness and tissue which, well, I need to be in the bodybuilding classes and I need it 
across this top line because that's where I faded the most. And it's already coming back. I can see, like, even in this video, I can see a bit more fullness coming back. Um, but it's it's not where I know it can be, um, and that's the frustrating thing. When that's you know why I pulled out the PCA shows because I don't put all of this work in to not showcase the absolute best of me. Um, so yeah, that's that's the plan of action. It is a reverse. A, a control the reverse diet into the show. Um, how it will go, I don't know, but I think I think it's going to go well. I've just got a very good feeling about it. I'm not nervous. Um, I'm quite excited. Um, and already, you know, like seeing my pictures this morning, I'm like four kilos above the cap still, and I'm like, wow, I look way way better. Like I'm more detailed, bigger, fuller. I feel better too. Um, so yeah, it's going to be exciting, and I do want to max it out because. Yeah, you only get one shot of this, um, and I want to bring my absolute best. So we're going to see what we can do, um, and then yeah, take it day by day, step by step, and all this. I'll keep everyone updated on Instagram and stories and stuff like that. Um, but I just thought I'd drop this YouTube um, just to try and give people an insight into our approach, um, what we are doing, why we are doing it. Um, and everything that's going to go on in the next 10 days. So I'll probably drop another video. I fly back to the UK on Thursday. Um, that was meant to be for the PCA shows, but I'm going to travel back anyway. Um, and then the following Thursday, I fly out to Milan uh, two days out. And then we're we'll meeting live in Milan. And then we're going to have a nice trip because that is going to be my final show. So instead of coming back to do the PCA finals, I can actually be there, be present, enjoy the trip and come back to the UK, still, you know, see the go the finals, see clients, um, without the pressure of competing myself and obviously having to be on my meal prep and all that and stuff. So it's gonna be really, really nice where I can actually enjoy some friend uh, sorry, time with friends and family that I wouldn't have got otherwise. So I'm just actually really excited now. Like it's it's kind of felt like a big pressure's been lifted off my shoulders. So um yeah, I'm I'm just really really excited to see what we can do. So I hope that gives a people an insight. That is where we're up to right now. Um, please wish me luck. I don't know whether I need a sprinkler. Good luck now, but we're going to do our best. We're going to do our best, and uh, you know, we've both got our heads screwed on. So uh, let's see what happens.